This is basically a civilization now that kind of amused itself to the point of catatonia almost. And that's why we have programs like American Idol and, and Celebrity Big Brother and I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here and this kind of stuff. It, it's, it's become mind-numbing really. And music now has been reduced, particularly with the kind of whole kind of American Idol, Pop Idol thing. Music has been reduced to this kind of charade where people who really should be doing, you know, if they're musicians at all, they should be singing on cruise ships or in wine bars. You know, that's about the level of creativity they have. But instead, they're being elevated to this level of, of you know, music icons, music superstars, and inspiring a whole generation of people after them to, uh, to aspire to that too, that the most important thing in life is to be famous. The whole thing about American Idol is it's almost a way for the, the music business to regain control of music, of pop music, because they were really losing control of it. I mean, if you, if you think back to the kind of post-grunge sort of Nirvana era, when a lot of the most important rock music again was coming out of independent labels, kids making music in their bedroom. And the way the, the major music business, the big record labels found to kind of regain that ground was to create this literally create, manufacture. I mean, they've always manufactured, you know, bands in the past. When you go back to the Bay City Rollers and stuff like that, they've always manufactured music, but at least they were a little bit more subtle about it. They tried to perpetuate the myth that these bands actually had, you know, come together through their own volition and created and written their own songs. Now they don't even pretend. They actually put the whole charade up on the screen for you and say, look, we're manufacturing this. This is a complete fake and you're still gonna buy it.